what is going on guys anthony here with prime coding and we are back with another episode of our discord.js uh tutorial but before we actually start i just want to say i'm sorry for the lack of uploads i've just been busy with a lot of irl stuff and uh i've been also uh dealing with a bunch of uh other things with the fire academy that i'm in anyways um this was a requested video that was requested a long time ago and i i told the guy that i would do it and i never got a chance to um so i just want to you know let's let's uh get into it so basically we're going to be making an announce command uh i'll show you guys what it looks like because i have it for staffy so basically we do announce and like that and it deletes our previous message and it puts it in our uh channel we have it set to send it to you guys can uh customize it however you want it doesn't have to be an announcements channel obviously and you guys can uh edit the uh embed um it it shows the announcement message that we put right here and it shows who it was announced by by me and the date or however uh you want to set it as so basically what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to go into our commands folder oh actually before we start that um we're going to go into our app uh, our our main coding file, which is our which which for us is called app.js. We're gonna go here, and as we see this disable everyone true, we're gonna go ahead and remove this, and we're going to do that. And just make sure that semicolon is on the client part, because if that right there, the disable everyone was true, it would not send the it would it wouldn't send the at everyone so it wouldn't do anything like that at everyone or you can't do it with the id or anything so what we're going to do is we're going to go into our commands folder we're going to do new file and we're going to do announce.js or you guys can name it whatever else you want so as you guys know we're going to start it in the beginning because we're using a embed we're going to const discord with the capital d equals require parentheses with quotation marks discord.js and go ahead and put a semicolon at the end of that line so next we're going to do our main part which all of our code is going to be going into is our module dot exports dot run set of parentheses oh wait, no actually exports dot run equals async set of parentheses bot comma message comma args gonna make an arrow function and put squiggly brackets at the end so you guys should have module that exports dot run equals async open a set of parentheses bot comma message comma args and make an arrow function with a set of uh, squiggly brackets or whatever the hell you call it Next, we are going to do if, open a set of parentheses, message dot member dot has permission with a capital P and open a set of parentheses with quotation marks. I'm gonna set this as administrator. You guys can do uh, manage messages. So I'll leave a link down in the description description for all the permission permissions that you can use um so basically for example there's uh, uh manage underscore messages um there's manage uh underscore roles and all that i'll leave a link down in the description for everything and we're gonna do a squiggly bracket at the end of that i'm gonna delete this really quick and we're going to do if open a set of parentheses with an explanation point in it message not member dot has permission with a capital P we're gonna do open a set of parentheses and quotation marks administrator we're going to go on a new line we're gonna do or actually we can do it on the same line we're gonna return and we're going to message dot reply now, someone in the Discord channel was asking for support on our play command, and 
basically he put message dot channel dot reply dot send or something like that um the only ones that I actually know is these two it's gonna be message dot reply or uh, message message dot channel dot send so the difference between these two is the message dot reply tags the user so it's gonna tag the user like that and it's gonna be the at user thing and message dot channel dot send just doesn't do anything so I just wanted to show that really quick and we're going to ow ooh we're going to open a set of parentheses with backticks. We're going to do a dollar sign a squiggly bracket. We're going. We're also going to do message dot author, and we're going to. Yeah, I'm saying that a lot. We're gonna go out of that, and we're gonna say, uh, sorry, you don't have permission to use this command. Ooh. you guys can put whatever you want and we're going to go into a new line and we're going to do message dot delete so basically what that does it deletes the command that was used with the uh what is it with the argument so basically the argument is obviously going to be the message so we're gonna put that above this before we actually um, start defining what the args are or arguments so now we're going to do const and we're going to do oh hold on I'm lost what are we doing oh we're going to put text or you can define this as something else that you would mainly know you can put user text or whatever. For me, I'm doing text equals args dot join. Open a set of parentheses. Put a quotation. Put a set of quotation marks in the space inside of it. Go into a new line. Go into a new line. Do if text dot length text dot length is less than one. That's my dog. We're going to return message dot reply, or you can do message dot channel dot send. So for me, I'm going to do message dot reply because that would tag the user, and you want to let the user know that you can't that he, the bot can't do that. And we're going to put cannot announce nothing please provide something to announce and we're gonna go ahead and go and put a semicolon on that and we are going to do const um Just give me a quick second. What am I doing? All right, const color. Or is it? Where is that being used? I'm trying to think and also look at my other monitor to figure out where this is being used Alright, we're gonna do this because this is what I have. I don't know why I have this. So we're gonna do color with L O U R. I don't know where I got that. I think the first time I did it. 
I looked it up or something. I don't know. I don't remember. We're gonna do equals args dot slice. Put, open a set of parentheses. Put a two inside that first set. Dot join. Open a set of parentheses and quotation marks and put a space inside that last set. And put a semicolon on that. So now right here is the embed. So we're going to do let uh, announce embed embed equal new discord dot rich embed open a set of parentheses and put a thing a semicolon on that I mean not a semicolon what am I doing uh, we're going to do a dot set title so you guys can customize this however you want or you guys can follow along what I'm doing this is just basically how I'm gonna do it we're gonna open a set of parentheses and quotation marks new announcement we're gonna go down and add a field so dot add field we're going to do announced by go outside of that and put a comma and we're going to put a set of back ticks we're going to do a dollar sign and squiggly bracket message dot author go on to a new line dot add field we're going to do announced on put a comma outside that put another set of back ticks a dollar sign and squiggly bracket message dot created and go into another line and dot set description text. Go ahead and put a semicolon on the end of that embed. Now we're going to do let announce channel equals message dot guild dot channels dot find. Open a set of parentheses, back ticks, name, comma, put a set of quotation marks, announcements. So right here, uh, go ahead and put your channel name. So for me, I'm going to put it in the announcements channel as when I tested it in there, I'm going to put it in the announcements channel. Um, so you guys can customize this to whatever channel you want. Go ahead and put a semicolon on the end of that line, and we're gonna do if there isn't an announce channel, and we are going to return message dot reply again. Message dot reply will tag the user, so it'll tag and then your message and message message dot channel dot send will just send it as a normal message without any sort of any sort of tag, and open a set of parentheses couldn't find a channel name announcement go ahead and put a semicolon on the end of that and we're going to do announce channel dot send and we're going to include the at everyone because the bot will not do it itself and we're going to do announce channel dot send open a set of parentheses announce embed so basically what we just did here we oh hold on what did I do wrong I think I did anything wrong. Hmm. Huh. I'm just looking at this really quick. No, all right. So basically what we just did here, when we included, when we did announce channel.send, we're basically telling the bot since we defined what the announcement channel, announce channel is, so we did let announce channel equals message.guild.channel.find, and we defined what the channel the bot is going to look for. 
if it binds that channel it's going to include the at everyone and it's going to send our announce and our announce embed which was all this here if it can't find the defined announce channel so here we put it as um, announcements for our channel I might have spelled that wrong actually no all right um, it, we're going to reply and we're going to uh, make a return function and it's going to say couldn't find the announcements channel da, 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 da. so go ahead and put a semicolon on the last line that we did and we're going to do mo we're actually going to test it now so module dot exports dot help equals open a set of parentheses uh, not parentheses squiggly brackets name and open a set of parentheses not parentheses quotation marks Jesus Christ um, and go ahead and put in the command name for me. I like to just make it simple and neat. Uh, whatever the command file it command file name is, I like to name it that kind of command. So we're gonna do announce. Not simple. We're going to run the bot, and we're going to test it. Announce.js is loaded and is now working. We're going to do our prefix, and I'm not going to do it in the announce channel, so I'm going to do it like in here. What is. Oh, okay. We're going to do announce, and this is a test. Da -da 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 -da. And as you see, it deleted our message and it sent it in the announce channel and the bot worked it didn't break or anything so hope you guys enjoyed this video obviously you've got if you guys have an issue just go ahead and come down here and prime coding uh anyone will try to help you me and um the dark demon most likely helps a lot of people um so we're, we're trying everyone in the community also needs help so that's not really the issue um so go ahead and join the Discord channel if you need help. Um, subscribe, down, subscribe down below if this helped you out. Go ahead and comment, like, do whatever. And um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.